damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to, and where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can we be calm about this? David's so worn out from things, with his mother and Shirley, he's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him, scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help, now did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, now I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room be... Ugh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... David, David, where, where are you? The abandoned hospital in Starford? What, why are you over there? Listen, I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come? Please, don't. Leave me alone. David? Hey, David! Ah, uh, he's in Stafford? It'd probably take about a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marion, I'm going to get David. Uh, I'm going with you. David is my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. David's car. He's still gotta be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Oh, those footsteps. They were from upstairs. That you, David? Wondering about those sounds. I should look in the building first. Oh, all right, fine then. I should probably check this. The main cafeteria room first. I've seen their reactions to this. It's dark red writing on the bird, likely blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Nothing, alright. Who's there? What are you doing here? Sissy. Uh, a, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Uh-huh. But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, who the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Man, what the hell was that? Someone else? David? Hey, who are you? Yo. The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Ugh, oh, what? Well. Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. A kid? D don't tell me there's a kid wandering here. 
He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. Kid, kid, what are you doing? And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he wouldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and then he sighed. And so he... Mr. David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey. What was with that kid? Why did he know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go marry him. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Uh, Marion, what do you mean, teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there won't be anyone here. You just need to find David. No jokes. So, that's it. Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for her trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. But wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened to you, we are putting two family members in danger. Please, just trust me. All right, please come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. David, what are you doing out there? David. Paul, why? Why are you here? I came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, di Stay away. David, you. I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. No, I'm, I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. David, what, what's that? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. It's right here, right now. David. I'm persuaded and he's come to this recollection on his own. To the guns once I have one. Yeah. Ow. Damn monster. Get away from David. Hey, what? Hey, ow. St stop. Ow. Yeah. That hurts. Stop, you moron. David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been staying from the start. Like hell. If that's the kind of thing you do saying, I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now, about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. Hmm. Sissy, Dee, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. 
Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I see things? You and Marion never believe me. Sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. Well, if you're a cult shtick. You seriously make. You seriously making fun of the occult after this? You listen, and no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in the, your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine, but once you moved in, I had this strange feeling from you. In front of the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness was perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft hearted to the core and always sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from the stuff he left, and it was all stuff you could identify with. So, what would you think of a guy who's a spitting image of you? Would you hate him, or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both, same as him. Think back, the crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? <gasps> he hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you. So, he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me get me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? In a dress. And I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David. You come back to us safe. I I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Scene 4. Central Hospital. Paul. End. Scene 5, Home Sweet Home. This is the place for sure. Could this be his house? Excuse me, can I have a second? What? Ain't seen you around here. Going for a stroll? Uh, no, actually. Um, who lives here? Do you know them? Oh, you mean Miss McCorkum? McGahan. Someone named McGahan lives here. Not anymore. Mrs. McGahan passed away last year. The home's been neglected ever since. 
list for fine houses. Oh yeah, I think she had a son. Wish he'd just rent out or sell the house. Do you know anything about her son? Nah, never seen him. Only moved here a few years back. Heard he lives in an apartment a ways away. I see. That all? I gotta get home by daybreak or my life will be livid. It's good to take a walk in the morning, but it's sure cold. Don't catch a cold or nothing. Uh, yes, thank you. You too. The mailbox says, Makahan. Must have been the resident's name. Anything to be gathered before going inside. Nope, just looks like a dead off. It's locked. Table and chair covered in dust. <gasps> Finally. A use for the bloody key. Pieces of shattered plates. The bath water is muddy. It smells bizarre. The toilet water reeks. The washing machine. There's still clothes left inside. A wash basin. The mirror has a big crack in it. Crap from a notebook. The hotel, the school, the hospital. It was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Frightening wouldn't calm my heart. In the end, my festering heart just oozes more, and I tear up the paper. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. Called the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house, with a cat and a mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has no meaning. TV has a big crack in the screen. Double chair. Not much food in the refrigerator. Of course, it's all gone bad. The sink is mouldy and dusty. The stove is stained with burrs and rust. An old telephone. A small bookshelf. There's a big gash in the wall. Big gash in the wall. Early morning outside. from a notebook. Why? 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 No, 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 no. An open shelf. Also, there's some albums inside. Closet door is half open. There are coats and such inside. The dresser drawers have le been left open. They're full of women's clothes. <laughs> Found a scrap from a notebook. Our oh, cigarettes. I need a smoke. Paintings fall onto the floor. Must have been hung on the wall before. A black covered notebook. The rule on this notebook matches the scraps I have. Combine all the scraps into the notebook. 
Oops. Duke. Duke Magana. Mac Macahan. So there's nothing in the desk. Deflated volleyballs is on top. Crooked man, I, I can't go over to your side. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. This will be the end. misery as I encounter, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So, be gone. There's a door to the attic. You might be able to pry it open. Tested me, though I lived such a similar life. You hated how I lived comfortably. So, you wanted to drag me down, to take me with you. But you, but didn't you, wanted to be safe? Deep down, so you called me. No, that's not right. You were trying to help me, to tell me. Don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going is a good place, so... Now, you can rest in peace. Wow, sounds like a real ordeal, David. I mean, finding a corpse while you're on a trip? But it sounds like it ended up alright. I'll go get you some tea. He was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I realised he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, 
I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. If all of this hadn't happened, I'd think sooner or later I'd take his path. Thinking of it that way, you really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't you? That's why you get dragged down like... It's fine. The crooked man is gone. Hello? Uh -huh. uh, okay, I'll, I'll head right there. David, what's up? Who was it? The hospital. Mom's condition took a turn. They're preparing to do the operation. T take my bike. It'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit there staring. Doctor, Mom, Mom's condition. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to. Doctor, please, my mom, she's she's the only family I have, please. Sign this, we're getting ready now, we'll do the best job we can. Okay. Doctor, mom, mom. Summer was successfully removed. She is still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. David. Mom. Mom. Oh. Thank God, you woke up, you really... I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. I must have worried you. And those things I did to you, I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay. It's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Mom, I was so unhappy. I was always struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed after all the hardship I'd given her. I foolishly doubted. Thought I was thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I Do you hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we were always happy, but even in sad times you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. I was so proud of you. Having you as my son was my greatest happiness. Don't focus on the sad things, and I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. Davy. I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? D sh shall think. Just a second. Here you go, Mom. Got a good funeral, and I'm sure your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. If 
I'm going to live without blaming myself. Those words are going to help a lot. It's fine if I have to suffer. If I can be smiling in the end. David. Marion, why are you... Shirley, why are you... Hey, Shirley, I ain't forgiving you. How dare you give David the culture... God... Oh, ahem, we're going. Okay, okay, stop pinching me. David, I heard about your mother. So, you brought flowers, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. David. I was uneasy. I got unsure of where I was going, worried that the road I was walking would be full of twists and turns. So I took it out on you and your kindness. You never let me down, but how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry. It was just too late, but... David? If it's okay, would you... would you like to? D David, please, don't cry. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sad, I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed and I lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. It's okay, Shirley. However off kilter things get, I can set them straight, if that's what you want. David. You know what I think? A crooked man and a crooked body and only crooked things. I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. some beats but a lot of it was you know I had forgotten quite a bit of it though with the whole uh, uh, bad end and good end things I'll leave that down mainly to if you want to explore the bad ends you know it's mostly going back through and finding or not finding but perhaps not collecting all the all the note all the scraps of paper and then there's also there's also the uh, which comes, and then there's the dialogue options with D and Sissy. Obviously, I'm not sure what happens if you give them the uh, if you give them the bad end, but I'm sure you know you search it up, you find out. I'll explain it all in my vi uh, video, and. Thank you for playing the Crooked Man, and congrats on a good ending. This is a bonus area, you'll lose access to it if you quit, so I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. About the series. This ends the Crooked Man, but the series continues with the Sandman, the Boogeyman, and the Hangman, out as, out as of 2017. Please try them if you like. Yeah. 
obviously there's still the other three games to play, as you saw then, and as you can tell they've been out for quite a while now. But even then, I will still give them a fair go, and you can expect to see them after all of this is done, all of it's edited, all of it's out, and I've made my review on it as well. So until then, I hope to see you next time. I've been VSM, and have a good one.